Dr. Ted Naiman, protein can drive out hunger, body fat, and chronic disease. I am a boots on the ground doctor in the trenches, and it's brutal. The average American male is five foot nine, weighs 199 pounds, and has a 40 inch waist. The average woman is five foot four and weighs 178. It's a, it's a huge problem. And, uh, you know, obesity's hit 40%. Uh, prediabetes has hit 50% of adult Americans. Uh, everybody who walks in the door is prediabetic, obese, uh, fatty liver. It, it, it's a, it's an, it's just beyond epidemic. It's the great, it's the largest epidemic, you know, homo sapiens have ever faced. It's a complete disaster. Every single chronic degenerative disease you can mention is associated with insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. I mean, everything, heart attacks and strokes and cancers and Alzheimer's and every, you know, all your autoimmune diseases, all your arthritic conditions, all your cancers and strokes and cardiovascular disease, they're all pretty much linearly associated with metabolic syndrome or insulin resistance, which is all just energy toxicity, which is all just being over fat. So being over fat pretty much drives every single chronic degenerative disease you could mention. Everyone just expects to get Alzheimer's and everyone expects to end up in a nursing home and everyone expects to be frail and diabetic and have uh, all this uh, degenerative stuff going on. And the more over fat you are, the faster all of that happens to you. If I could just do one thing, like one public health um, sort of approach to try to reverse all of this, it would be protein percentage. If you can get protein to 30% of your calories, you're going to reverse a hundred percent of prediabetics automatically. Like they will just automatically eat less and they're no longer prediabetic. We have studies demonstrating this and you do that by centering all your meals around protein. And, uh, every time you eat, it should be, okay, what, what protein am I eating? And I think that is the, that's our only hope. That's our only hope for, with the, the diabetes the epidemic. It's impossible to overeat protein. You can't eat too much protein. Uh, in 20 years of medical practice, I've never looked at someone and said, you're eating too much protein. Mm -hmm. We have zero case reports in the entire history of bodybuilding on someone eating too much protein and damaging their kidneys or their bones or something like that. The average person, they literally are not capable of eating, quote, too much protein. There's nothing bad will happen to you. If you're trying to guesstimate how much protein you should eat, it's roughly a gram per pound of your ideal weight or your desired body weight or what you should weigh or what you want to weigh. You know what I mean? So I'm, you know, 5'10". If I look up ideal body weight for a five foot 10 male, it's 160 pounds. So I should probably target 100, 160 grams of protein a day. And then if I'm trying to lose weight, I want to keep energy grams, that's carbs and fats, less than protein grams. So, you know, if I'm 5'10 and I'm overweight and I know my ideal weight is 160, I should eat at or over 160 grams of protein a day. And then I should eat under 160 grams per day of energy, which is carbs and fats together. Okay, for breakfast, I, I threw away the toast and the juice and the cereal and the croissants and the bagels and the donut. And I just, instead, I just ate my egg, my one egg, my one 60 calorie, six gram of protein egg. Uh, but then I was hungry, you know, two hours later and I'm eating, you know, like friggin' wheat thins and, um, and there's some muffins and there, and I'm like, yeah, you have to take the stuff that's good and just amp it way up. You know, you have to, you should be eating like, okay, how am I going to get a pound of meat or, you know, a half a dozen eggs or, you, you know, you have to up the quantity on this good stuff and then you're just not that hungry. So we, you know, we do these 24 hour food recalls. We find out what people are eating and then we're like, we're like, wow, you know, you're eating 60 grams of protein a day and, you know, 400 grams of energy and you need to flip that around and reverse it. So what is it you eat that has protein in it that you like? And then you just, you have to make yourself almost eat that 
um, and crowd out the energy. You know what I mean? So step one, uh, it starts in the grocery store. You go to the store and you buy all these super high protein foods that you are willing to eat or that you like to eat. It might be turkey bacon. It might be chicken breast. It might be fish. Uh, it might be lean beef. It might be whey protein shakes, buying a lot of this stuff, like way more than you've ever bought before. And people are like, I'm not, I've never bought, you know, I've never cooked just like a pound of meat. And I'm like, well, yeah. And that's probably why you're overweight. And if you want a different result than what you've all, all always gotten, you've got to do something radically different. So it starts in the grocery store. You buy an insane amount of protein, and every day when you wake up, you're like, okay, I need 160 grams of protein. That's a, it's over a pound and a half of lean meat. How am I going to get that? When am I going to cook it? How am I going to eat it? And it's really just procurement and logistics of, of high protein food. And so step one, the high protein foods. Step two is then like not eating a bunch of crap, but that happens naturally and organically after you've eaten the stuff you're supposed to be eating. And then exercise, like, you know, weeks down the road when people start feeling way better, uh, you just see their energy levels go way up. If you were partitioning all your energy into storage all day long, but now you're not, now the energy arrow is going the other way. It's coming out of storage. People just like spontaneously start working out. And I have people tell me, I, you know, I'm just, I'm warmer all the time. I don't have to wear a coat. I just feel this energy. I'm like spontaneously going for a walk. I'm like fidgeting more. I'm just moving more. Uh, suddenly people aren't partitioning all their energy into storage and they've just got more energy available to do stuff with. And I almost feel like the, the intermittent fasting happens organically on its own. The exercise happens organically on its own. The not eating crap happens organically on its own. And it just starts with getting the high protein and eating it. And that's really the, the biggest factor, the biggest step. If somebody has like severe hunger, severe cravings. Do you just suggest that they overeat on protein? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah, because you you almost can't do it. And then also this person probably needs that protein. They're mm. probably that hungry for a reason. They probably need the protein and the minerals and they've been, um, you know, they've just been triaging protein all this, all this time. And that's why they're hungry all the time. And so that's definitely going to help. Summary. Every chronic disease associated with insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome includes heart attacks, stroke, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, autoimmune diseases, and arthritic conditions. Protein at 30% of the diet provides that prediabetes will reverse automatically. Daily protein. One gram of protein per one pound of ideal body weight. That is your desired body weight or your average typical body weight. For example, if you weigh 160 pounds or you should weigh 160 pounds, then you should eat 160 grams or more of protein. And if you're wanting to lose weight, you should eat less than 160 grams of energy, which is carbs and fat, the combination of carbs and fat. To start with, buy lots of protein foods. These could include turkey bacon, chicken breasts, fish, lean beef, whey protein shakes. As you eat these, organically, your energy level goes way up. And organically, it's easier to do intermittent fasting, to have energy for exercising and to not eat junk food. When you have severe hunger pains, overeat protein. You need it. You're hungry for a reason. And that will stop your hunger and not cause weight gain. An easy example that's simple and effective is to drink 
a whey protein shake twice a day. 